I'm here at the Word of Life Christian Academy with Coach Shelly Watts, who's no stranger to championships. But this one was very special. Coach Watts, how are you? I'm great. I'm great to be here. Girls, how are you all? Great. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Those are championship ladies right there. But before we get into all of it, we want to talk about a little controversy that took place before these girls were named champions. VISAA, Coach Watts, disqualified these young ladies due to not wearing masks. Talk a little bit about that, Coach. Well, at the end of the season, we have the uh, Virginia Independent School Athletic Association State Championship Games. And one of the uh, prerequisites for that game is, or requirements rather, is for all teams to, to wear masks during the game. Now throughout our season, you know, we're back and forth with protocol about who can wear masks, who shouldn't wear masks. It's up to the schools to identify who can wear masks and who can't. Sure. So our host, our host uh, team that we went to uh, decided for us to not wear masks. Okay. And we agreed. And we both didn't wear masks. We both com competed without the mask. Right. And the next day, we were notified that we would be disqualified because wow. we didn't wear masks, wow. which, which we obviously thought was unjust because there right. were other teams, obviously, in the competition that either had masks on, but they were not wearing them properly or what have you. But they did not, you know, we, we were successful to no avail. Right. And we ended up being disqualified. And I saw plenty of parents. They tried to go to bat for the girls. Correct. and and things were said with the VIFA, and there was nothing that could be done. The girls would not, could not, did not participate in that particular tournament. That's correct. Wow. We have to represent for our ladies. There's been so much national attention on what the girls and ladies sports are not getting in comparison to the men's sports. But we're here today to change that, right ladies? All right, so we're going to get into this championship game, this championship. I call it a championship season for the Absolutely. ladies because of what Absolutely. they overcame. First of all, Coach, how was it coming into this season with all the protocols, the max, not yeah. being able to do this and that? How right. did your girls fare with all of that? I mean, our, our girls, we were extremely resilient at everything. I mean, we, you know, obviously everybody went through an unprecedented time, an unprecedented basketball season. and. Yeah. You know, we just adapted to the changes. They adapted to the changes, and you know, it's just a testament of their strength and their resilience. Absolutely. Um, and they just pushed through. I mean, we we accepted what was, and we took the the restrictions and the protocol that were you know in place, and we just played accordingly. That's right. Now, talk about this game. If I'm not correct, or if I'm correct, you played a team that had beat you twice in the season. Is that correct? Why are you bringing up old stuff? <laughs> But yes. And for the third time, yes, you all did it. For the third time, we finally prevailed. Talk about the yes. game a little bit. Uh, so the game was it was a it was an exciting game. Uh, right. We uh, we were up by about twenty points at halftime. Wow! Uh, Wrap it up. Time to go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, you know we got a little excited at halftime, and yeah, you know the warning was you know there's always that second half momentum from the other That's team, right. and. That kind of happened, and uh, but but they stayed with it, and they stayed uh, they stayed true to what their their goal was that game. And, right. Uh, we came out with the championship. All right. Good job, ladies. Now, coach, I'm going to talk to two of the young ladies in just a moment, but I want you to introduce this team. They deserve it. Absolutely. So we have our, our junior Najia Hawkins, our, our number one point guard here. We have our sophomore, our special sophomore Denia Marion, who's also a she, she plays like she plays like, plays a, like a sophomore. She plays like a sophomore. Everybody tells me that, by the way. Right. Um, who's our combo guard? Uh, we have our go-to player, uh, Alexis Black, who's yeah. also our combo guard. Okay. Uh, we have Nyla Bike here, our sophomore sensation, who wow. loves to have block parties every game. <laughs> we have our Canadian Bacon, our senior, Miss Brittany Atuka. All right. Uh, all the way from Canada who wanted to be a part of our, our journey. Yes. We have Amore Harris here, who's our, another sophomore that we have, our, our shooting guard offensive specialist. And we have our special, special, special manager. All right. <laughs> Managers yes, need help too. All right, girls. Absolutely. Again, congratulations. Come on in, coach. Sure. What's next for this team? 
Oh, really? What's next? I mean, we, we have to build on our momentum that we ended the season with. Right. Um, obviously, into the next season, we have to build on our, our team. We have to build and, and, and get great more great players. Um, and we're, we're obviously going to have that same goal at the end of the next season to, to win another championship. That's right. And we'll hope for no mask. We want these things out of here. Absolutely. Coach, thank you, so, thank you much. so much. I appreciate you and the girls giving us time. Check out Word of Life Christian Academy Girls Basketball. There's so much more to come from them.